Hey, this is Ray at the Tower E-Bike Repair Shop. Today we're gonna be talking about e-bike batteries. I have an assortment of batteries here. We're gonna discuss the different styles and what's actually inside the pack. So just looking here, we've got uh, several different designs from different manufacturers. The Tower E-Bike battery is a, a large case uh, full of 60 cells. It slides onto a controller mount. Here I have a, an internal frame battery. This actually goes into the frame of the bike. Then we've got a couple of these uh, kind of cartridge style batteries that slide onto the uh, back side of the C-post into a section specifically for them in the frame. And then we have an internal frame pack. This would go into a proprietary frame design mechanism. Now, all of these packs have one thing in common. They all have individual cells in them. Right now, the kind of industry standard is 18650, which describes the length and diameter of the cell. Uh, there's lots of different manufacturers. Uh, some of the best ones would be Samsung, Panasonic, or LG. If you have a manufacturer of a battery, that isn't claiming that these their cells are made by one of these manufacturers. It's most likely a very inexpensive Chinese knockoff of one of these cells that will not perform nearly as well. And when I talk about the performance of an e-bike battery, I'm talking about the storage capacity of each individual cell and the maximum discharge rate of that cell. Those factors come into play when you start doing high discharge of the whole pack itself. The ultimate storage capacity of each individual cell ends up translating into range for your e-bike and the discharge rate ends up translating into power that you can see at the wheel. Right away we're looking at several different designs here. These designs are various voltages. So our pack is considered a 48 volt pack. It'll actually charge up to 54 volts. I've got a, a, a 36 volt pack here. I've got a, a 52 volt pack here. So it, it all depends on how the manufacturer designed the pack and the system, the voltage that that system is gonna be running at. The way that that works is you take a series of cells, it's a whole bunch of cells that are creating five packs in parallel and then seriesing those together to step up voltage to the to the level that you're going to get as the maximum voltage output of the pack. Inside that pack there's a circuit board called a battery management system. That battery management system keeps all of the individual cell packs at the same charge and, and then it also handles charging and discharging the pack or powering up the system. Very important what's inside your pack. A little bit complicated and technical, I know, but there's a big difference between what you would find in all of these different packs. So it's a good idea if you're looking for an, uh, an e-bike and you want a, a good range and good power to really research what they're powering the bike with, what kind of cells are in the pack, and how much storage that pack has. Hopefully that is helpful information about uh, e-bike batteries. And this is Ray at the Tower e-bike repair shop.